Hi everyone, this is the first episode of what I hope to be uh, a lengthy blog about all my amazing truck and Toyota interests. Um, most of my friends and family have been putting up with me for years saying, talking about Toyotas and my all my many, many vehicles that I've had in the ridiculous and maybe a little too intimate relationship I've had with all my vehicles. Um, and they finally suggested that maybe I should take it to the web instead where someone might actually want to listen. And so I've decided to start this blog and hopefully catalog some of my experiences and my thoughts. Um, a little about me, I am 27 years old at the moment. I am a, as the channel might suggest, I am a Toyota fan. Um, I have been since I was in high school. Um, my first vehicle was a 1993 Toyota Tercel. It was red and I painted a Starsky hut stripe on it because, I mean, that's pretty pretty close to the original vehicle. Um, my friend and I had a lot of fun in those vehicles. We both had Tercels and then we both bought Toyota pickups right around the same time and got into all kinds of trouble with them. Um, I was always really impressed with my high school vehicle because it was so reliable and I was so horrible to it. Um, that poor little Tercel, I went through a lot. Um, I finally broke it by slamming it into first. Well, I should say the, the final time I broke it was I was rolling in reverse and slammed it into first because I was a high school student and I was an idiot. Um, I didn't have, uh, I didn't really have the, the, I'd say the muster to try to, try to maintain my vehicles as well I should have. Obviously, I was a high school student and I have hopefully learned a lot since then. Um, I then bought a 1993 Toyota pickup, which I affectionately named Hubert. Um, I had a lot of fun in that truck as well and I really learned a lot about how to work on my vehicles and the importance of maintenance. Um, I had the timing chain on it go twice. Um, I had the engine rebuilt once and finally it died and I didn't have the money or funds at the time to keep it and keep building it like I wanted to. Um, could I go, if I could go back, I feel like I would definitely have not sold it and kept it as a project. Um, if I recall, I didn't get very much money out of it, but what I did get out of it was uh, enough to buy a 1985 MR2. Um, that car was a lot of fun. Uh, Mid-engine, very small and fun to drive around in corners very quickly. My wife and I um, honeymooned in that car, actually where the timing chain on that one broke and left us stranded in Vegas. Um, not the worst place to be stranded in your on your honeymoon, but nonetheless, that's where we were stuck with it. Um, I had a few other cars too. Um, I, we had a Malibu at one point. When we first started dating, my wife and I had a, well, she had a Volkswagen, and someday I'll make a video just about the issues with that car because that Volkswagen Beetle was probably the worst vehicle that I've ever had the privilege of driving um, and I've had some pretty crappy vehicles and I've had some good vehicles that I turned into crappy vehicles um, but that one I can honestly say was not my doing um, the after I got the MR2 and we had the Malibu and the Malibu didn't work out we had to sell because it was blowing white smoke and I did not have the time or patience for that car um, we sold that, and then we got a 1985 uh, Forerunner. It had 300 and I believe 10,000 miles on it when I bought it. It was on a fresh rebuilt engine, um, and it was a lot of fun. I ended up doing a lot of mods to that vehicle, including putting a rear axle from a 90s Toyota pickup the locking rear axle in it. Um, I really like to work on electrical projects and I actually wired that to use the stock push button from the um, from uh, any modern or from any 
1995 or 1996 to 2004 Toyota pickup with the e-locker that you would find. Um, ended up burning out that motor, that e-locker motor and finding out how to rewind an electric motor, which was interesting. Um, but it was all very, uh, it, it, was a, it was a good truck. Um, some of the videos on my channel you'll see of it. Um, that thing would climb anything. And when a vehicle has 300 plus thousand miles on it and it's your daily driver, um, you tend to be nicer to it in some situations, but I'd say um, I wasn't too afraid of getting body damage. Uh, in a lot of ways, any damage to it would have at least explained what it looked like. Um, right before I, I got that, the guy that I bought it from had a friend who owed him some money and so he actually had that friend spray paint it black for him which very quickly afterwards blew off in the wind pretty much the entire time I'd driven it. Um, it was not a pretty vehicle but it was a lot of fun and it was very reliable. I never had a single issue with that thing. I used it for my work vehicle for a long time up in Idaho. I had some very cold winters. Um, and it, I mean, I, I swear by that vehicle all the time, even though my parents and friends think I'm nuts. Um, after that truck, um, I was gifted a 1998 Ford F-150 um, by a, a relative. And that thing was cherry. It had 56,000 miles on it. It was garage kept its entire life, if not most of its life. Um, and in typical Ford fashion, I could not keep it on the road. Um, a friend of mine uh, was nice enough to point out the hypocrisy of um, of how much I was willing to put into the MR2, which was the problem child at the time. Um, and yet, I did nothing but complain about the Ford. Um, the Ford constantly was misfiring. Um, and the coolant was perfect according to the shop I took it to for Idaho and yet I believe the thermostat would freeze shut because I would go out and start the engine and let it warm up and then try to drive it and none of the electronics in the entire truck would work except for the headlights um, everything else inside the cab was frozen um, and the I mean the radio lights everything and it would overheat um, one of the only gauges that would work was the temperature gauge, which showed me that it was overheating. So I'd have to pull the truck over and let the heat dethaw whatever was freezing so that it would actually, actually work. It would also not share any of its heat with me. And the heater would not work until well after I'd already started. Not ideal for a work truck. It did not like Idaho very much. Um, I ended up using that to get my 2004 Tacoma. Um, that was by far one of my favorite vehicles, if not the my favorite vehicle. Um, since high school, I'd been looking at the 2004 double cabs and just lusting after them. I wanted a 2004 Tacoma so bad I could taste it. Um, the one I got did have a rebuilt title. It had 160,000 miles on it. Um, and I took it all the way up to 219,000 miles and never had any problems with it whatsoever. Um, first thing I did when I had it um, was replace the timing chain and do the water pump at the same time since I was in there. Um, and outside of that, I never had to touch the engine. It what, ran perfectly every time, started right up. Um, I did mod it pretty extensive, pretty heavily. Um, I lifted it. I did about a two and a half inch suspension lift and a one inch body lift. I know you can hate me, that's fine, but it really made it nice to get underneath it and have that extra clearance just for stuff like refilling fluids and stuff and I don't feel like the one inch body lift um, did any damage to it I definitely would not have gone any higher than a one inch body lift um, for the uh, for the back I had blocks um, my friend had suggested that blocks are they have a bad rap but I mean they will flex just as great as the stock suspension and I never had a problem with my block or with my block lift. Um, one of the um, 
one of the other things I did was um, I installed a CB radio and a normal rate and a normal head unit but I took great care to make the dash seem as stock as possible um, I really really liked making electronics fit in the truck and try to make them look stock or at least incorporated into the truck um, I did stuff like I had a radar detector that I had wired into the harness um, I changed the front bumper I found one on Craigslist and we modified it to get it to where I liked it um, and I installed off-road lights on it um, I also changed the wiring of those bits so that when you turn on your your headlights um, you I had a three position switch I had on off and on with headlights with brights so when I was driving down the road I could put the switch in that position and just when I turned the brights on it would turn on my off-road lights as well because I found when I was trying to drive on the back roads here I would have a lot of um, a lot of scrambling when I came up on another car I would turn off the brights and then reach down and try to turn off the off-road lights and usually by that time I already gave them a good uh, a good blinding um, but um, I really liked my three position switch and if I do them again I'd, I'd love to mimic that um, I had a wireless CB mic and at one point I had a PA speaker in the truck so I could yell at people which I did quite often um, I, I did stuff like I modified the LEDs all around inside not just replaced them but I actually changed like the the dome one um, to one that's supposed to go in a Silverado so it had a lot more a lot more LEDs in it um, and it was just ridiculously bright um, I could honestly go on for days to all the stuff I did for that um, my buddy sold his Tacoma and we got the sliders off of that and put them on the new on my Tacoma um, and I really liked the look of those sliders. They weren't intrusive and they were very, very functional and very, very tough. Um, I just recently sold that Tacoma um, and um, I, I was pretty happy with what I got for it. I would have never sold that truck um, if it was a manual. Uh, a manual for me is huge. Um, I really like driving a manual transmission. It, automatics are always to me I know it's cliche but they're boring um, and I've never once been driving a manual and wished it was an automatic but I could count like five at least five times a week I would just be cursing the manual transmission in my truck and don't get me wrong it had a great man or automatic transmission in it um, it was really quick with the, the throttle response it I felt like it shifted really well um, and I never had any real problems with it except for the fact that it wasn't automatic um, the 2004 well the 2002 to 2004 Tacoma double cab was my dream truck but unfortunately Toyota never made those in a manual and so you have to settle for an automatic um, I thought I would be fine with an automatic when I first got the truck and I was for a while um, but my friend had a uh, a 98 Tacoma with a manual in it and I drove that a few times and rode in it with him and it just felt like a totally different truck um, and so I considered doing a manual swap with that truck um, I never got around to doing it but I did have the opportunity um, to buy the parts for it and I kinda had to make a decision if I was going to um, if I was going to sell my truck and get a newer truck or if I was going to put a, a manual transmission in that automatic or in that Tacoma um, I ultimately decided when the 2016 Tacomas came out and the 2017's um, and they came in manuals that it would be worth it um, in my current position um, with my wife and I both working we can afford a new Tacoma I'm going to uh, I've already ordered it I've got about a uh, hopefully a month left maybe more of waiting I have ordered it about a month ago um, and I sold my Tacoma which was ridiculously hard considering that it's just a truck but like I said I get overly attached to my vehicles um, Tiberius as I called that truck was one of those vehicles that it never let me down and 
I mean, it just ran and ran and ran. I sold it before. It didn't have any issues besides the fact it was a rebuilt title. Um, it did have warped brake rotors, um, which I'll probably get into in another video as well. Um, but it was a great truck, um, and I'm probably getting the only truck I would trade it for. Um, and so I'm getting a 2017 TRD uh, off-road double cab um, with a manual transmission. Um, I have I'm getting the technology package. I'm also getting stuff like um, the bed step and the bed mat and the roof rack. Um, the bed step is for my wife who is very short um, and she constantly complained about getting into the back of Tiberius um, which that's, doesn't sound like a very good sentence but context matters. Um, but so I got that and I've got the bed mat and I'm really excited about my new truck as everyone who knows me will tell you. Um, I'm eagerly awaiting its arrival. Uh, my uh, the roof rack is an interesting add-on. Uh, I haven't seen many people with the roof rack yet. Um, I've seen them a few times, only a couple of times in the wild, so to speak. Um, I really like the looks of the roof rack, and I don't think I'll ever use it, ever. It's purely aesthetic, and I just like the way it looks. Um, but it is nice to have just in case, but I hope never to have to use it unless I'm carrying something like a kayak or something, I don't know. But um, I always said if I was going to buy a vehicle new, I would get it exactly how I want, which is exactly what I'm doing. Um, I, otherwise, there's no point in buying new. I'd always, I always said I'd buy used. Um, I'm, I like the second-gen Tacomas, um, and I had considered them, but with the way Toyotas don't really depreciate too much, um, it was worth it to me for the extra 100 or 200 bucks a month for a brand new one. Um, I, I, I work in the technology field, and I really like all the, the trinkets and gizmos and stuff, and I feel like the second-gen Tacomas really didn't have much of that. And between the two generations of the first-gen and the second-gen, I would much rather have the first. I like the smaller size of the pickup, um, despite me being I'm 6'3", 6'4", and everyone always kind of laughs when I get out of a Tacoma because I don't look that big. Well, I look huge in a Tacoma, but um, everyone assumes I should just have a, a normal size truck. But I just love the looks and the and the off-roading factor of the smaller trucks. But uh, obviously the 2017 Tacoma is a much bigger truck than the 2004 double cab. Um, my wife and I are, well, I'll say I'm very excited. My wife's pretty excited. Um, for the truck and to, to just to have a new vehicle. We've just had a bunch of used vehicles, so to have a new one is going to be a new experience. Um, my family recently moved oh, about, uh, I want to say like four or 500 miles away, and so it'll be nice to have a new vehicle that I can commute in. Um, and we go there with our best hound, Fergus, who is going to ride in the back and is going to enjoy the, the fold down seats. Um, but we have to train him not to jump up and scratch the paint probably, which is a new experience for me as well. I've never been too concerned with my vehicle's appearances because they've all started out very, very, very second hand. Um, but this is going to be a new experience because um, this is going to be mine. It's going to be new and I'm going to keep it nice. Um, and I'm going to learn how to do everything right. Um, my, well, my boss has very, very, um, he has a lot of experience when it comes to keeping vehicles nice, and I do not, so I expect to receive a lot of training from him about what to do um, as far as keeping a new vehicle nice and waxing and polishing. Um, I was always more into off-roading, which I don't know how much, I, I don't think this truck will do very much at all off-road. Um, it'll be a commuter. I might get like an old Toyota pickup and just pull it with this instead. Um, I've almost droned on for like 20 minutes, so that's way more than I was expecting. But that's a little bit about what this channel is and what you can expect to see here. Um, 
I will hopefully keep this channel up to date. I'm sure once my truck gets here, I will be taking lots of pictures and videos of it um, and just polluting the entire internet with how excited I am about it. Um, I hope someone's out there watching. Uh, if not, I'm going to feel even stupider than I do now talking into a camera. If the only people who watch this are coworkers, friends, and family, um, I, I I was kind of inspired to do this. Um, I was watching a channel called called Taco Bandit, um, and I, I really liked what he's doing. He's um, he's just talking about how he feels about stuff, and and it's fascinating to watch. And I hope I can replicate some of that. Um, I have a lot to talk about, and. A lot of people around me are sick of hearing it, so I figured I'd just put it out there. But uh, hopefully I will make this a regular thing and and continue to upload uh, videos. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Unless you know me in real life, then you can just tell me. Um, <laughs> I guess we'll call that the end.